Hi guys, uh, good afternoon. Today I'm going to, I'm making a, a paella. I'm making chicken, paella and uh, chorizo. I have some few ingredients that I'm using. I have a chicken breast, one chicken breast. I have chorizo that I've chopped. I've taken out the, uh, chorizo do have an outer layer, so I've taken out the outer layer. I have one chopped onion, uh, four cloves of garlic, uh, a chicken stock, um, you will need uh, saffron, saffron threads. Uh, this is how they look like. They're very uh, small. You will need some uh, frozen uh, peas. And I have some rice. I'm using normal rice, but you have, if you have uh, alborio, you can use that one as well. I have some cooking oil, and I have here uh, turmeric. Here on, I have a pan on heat, uh, just on a medium heat. I'm going to add very little uh, cooking oil. And then I'm going to add in my chorizo. It's already warm. So I'm going to add in the chorizo. Um, chorizo has a very nice uh, red color. This is a Spanish dish that I'm making. So, yeah. And I say probably chorizo originated from there. So I'm going to let that cook for maybe 3-4 minutes until uh, the oil is well coated. And then, I mean the chorizo well coated with the, um, with the oil. And then I'm going to add in my, my chicken. So I'm going to cook for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna uh, chop my cloves of garlic. You can mince it, but um, I'm choosing to chop it. So, You can see the color, the color is very very nice. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add in my chicken. Uh, they are thrown in a, a chicken wing, one. Uh, I happen to have one in the freezer. So. Let that cook for a couple of minutes and then we're going to transfer it into a bowl. So my chicken is uh, brown nicely, so I'm just going to transfer it into this bowl. Side. Add a little bit of more oil. That's enough. I'm gonna add in the chick, uh, the onions. I'm going to add in the garlic. And I'm going to add in the turmeric. I'm just going to use like a, a teaspoon of turmeric or half a teaspoon. This one is just for that uh, lovely color, golden color, and the flavor and the taste as well. Uh, 
So let that cook for a couple more minutes and I'm gonna add in the I'm gonna put in the chicken back. I'm gonna add with all the juices. Coat everything well. You can see the lovely color that it has. The yellow color. Now I'm going to add in my peas that I see they're frozen peas. So add in the peas. Mix together. I'm going to add the rice. Uh, I only need a cup of rice. I'm using jasmine rice, but if you have basmati or the pile of rice, you can use that as well. So, one cup. Add it in, put aside. Uh, here I have the chicken stock I dissolve in hot water and I added in the um, the saffrons, you can see the, the thread from the saffron. So I'm just gonna add in um, that 600 ml of uh, chicken stock. Uh, so I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna cover it and let it uh, boil, come to a boil. I'm gonna let it come to a boil fast before I cover it. So I give it a couple minutes and then I'll be back to check it. So that's how my rice looks like uh, well cooked. What I did is that I covered it with a cling foil and I put it in the oven for 20 minutes and that's what it looks like uh, completely cooked so hope you enjoy guys and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask thank you bye